What's up you guys and welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a short review of the Apple credit card. Now I'm not a particularly large fan of Apple. I do own Apple products but um, I do primarily use Samsung and Android products. But this is a very interesting card and I think it holds a very good place in the credit card ecosystem and I'll go into that a little bit later. But Shipped via UPS in a UPS sleeve. I really enjoy it. Just like the Amex Gold unboxing that I did. If you haven't seen that, that is the first video I've done in this unboxing series. And you should definitely go check it out. Small cardboard box. Again, I really like the discreetness of Apple. Amex is uh, pretty flashy. Nothing wrong with that, but I have heard stories and seen videos of guys that um, didn't get it in the UPS sleeve. And I actually have heard of stories of um, Amex cards being intercepted in the mail and then being used. And one thing that Apple boasts about is data privacy. And that's pretty much the number one reason why I feel the way I feel about this Apple credit card. So again, very nice sleek packaging everything that you need to know about this card is going to be in the app but i'll be going over some of the quirks and features uh don't sue me please um of this credit card now this is a pure titanium card and oh man it sounds so 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 nice sounds so much better than my well all my other credit cards all of my metal credit cards this definitely sounds the best so, as you guys can see, this is not my name. This is not the correct sequence of my name. But the number one gripe I had about getting this card is that it took me about three months to actually finish an application to get this card. Basically, what you can only apply for this card through an Apple product. Many people think that you need an iPhone to do it. I do not own an iPhone. I used this here iPad through Apple Pay with my iPad and was able to apply for this card. The correct sequence for my name, they didn't have, um, I guess it, whatever they were trying to do with their records, it didn't match up. And the Goldman Sachs Apple Card customer service was extremely lackluster. Like when I say extremely lackluster, I mean very, very disappointing. And so they couldn't help me. They just kept referring me back to the app, referring me back to the app, referring me back to my iPad. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. And then I got bored last week and then just tried it out again. And it auto-filled this way. And I was like, well, well, I already got denied before. Let's see how this goes. And it was approved. And it's because this is the way that on my ID that I uploaded, I guess this is the way they thought that my name was supposed to go. So no, no big deal, really. I'll still be able to use the card normally. It is 100% numberless, but it is available in your Apple wallet. Okay, MasterCard, Goldman Sachs, Apple. Honestly, this has to be one of the best looking credit cards I've ever seen in my life. Again, this is coming from a person who was not an Apple fan not even remotely an Apple fan, but I gotta give credit where credit is due. This is a very, very good looking card. So let me go over um, some of the quirks and features, again, don't sue me, of this Apple card. Now, the number one thing that this thing has is 3% cash back when you buy Apple products. And now that is good, but there are better alternatives for sure. But 3% back on Apple products is definitely competitive as far as cash back goes. It's got 2% cash back whenever you use Apple Pay. Again, if you are an iPhone user, then this is perfect for you. If it's something you're already doing, just an extra step, use your phone and you get an extra 1%. And you get 1% cash back on absolutely everything else, bare minimum, Tons and tons and tons of tons of cards give you more than 1% cash back. Please, if you have the means, don't ever settle for 1% cash back. Always try to get at least two or more. 
The one unique thing, though, about this cashback is that it is usable on a daily basis. Normally, you have to wait until your statement to redeem points, and then you'll be able to redeem your points for cash back and things like that. And that's normally how it goes for 99% of other credit cards. The unique thing about the Apple card is, is that it is daily cash back. So I use Apple Pay uh, and buy something for $100 today. $2 will be deposited in my Apple wallet tomorrow. And I think that is really, really, really great. There are no foreign transaction fees. It is a MasterCard, so MasterCard is one of the top two accepted cards in the world. So you have no issues there. And now the largest, largest, largest setback that this card has is the fact that you need an Apple product to apply for it. You need an Apple product to apply for it. You need an iPad, you need an iPhone, you need an i something. I'm not sure if iPod touches are able to do it, but anything I think that has Apple wallet, you'll be able to apply for this card with. And again, I only have an iPad uh, for business purposes. Otherwise I would just have Galaxy everything. So people who have zero iPhone products or Apple products will have zero access to this card. And I think that is the number one limiting factor when it comes to applying for this. And it affects some people more than others. So where I believe that this card fits oh so uniquely and does an amazing job is in the actual user interface for the card. Inside of your wallet app, inside of your Apple card uh, interface, it gives you such a user-friendly simple um, laid out experience that for people that are just getting new uh, to the credit card game, uh, this is a lot of people's first credit card now. And I believe that it it's a wonderful introduction to the credit card world. You get to learn about cash back for the first time. You get to see your bill laid out. You get to see your purchases. Another great thing is that the Cards purchases are linked to your Apple Maps. So that is a very good thing as far as uh, fraud prevention. There are other banks and issuers that use this as well, but Apple really simplifies it by actually plotting it out on the map for you. They really do fill in a lot of blanks and try to make using this card as simple as possible. It's just getting the card is the difficult part, being as if you don't have an Apple product and you need to, um, if you don't have an Apple product, you just can't get it. And so this is all part of their strategy to further tether people into the Apple ecosystem. Take that for what it's worth. Take that for however you feel about it. Um, I do believe that people can get value from this card and the specific value that um, I believe this card gives a person is education. It'll tell you exactly how much interest you will be paying and it has it right there in the interface. Again, there are other cards that do this, but none of them as simply and plainly as this Apple card. All right, you guys, we're gonna move into the final tally on the Apple credit card. Divided into two sections, we've got usability and style. In the usability category, we're gonna talk about the accessibility for this card. There are data points showing that people with low as well as no credit scores being able to obtain this card, which is outstanding for anybody looking to get into the credit card game. But at the same time, you do need to possess an Apple product in order to get in and benefit from this. So I'm going to be giving this a three out of five. Next up, we're going to talk about the interest rate on this card. It is um, a very liberal range. It's one of the best interest rate ranges I've seen on a credit card as low as 12.49 up to and including 23.49. So I'm going to give this a four out of nine. Next, we're going to talk about the fees. And this is where the Apple card truly does shine. It is a zero fee card. There is no annual fee. There are no foreign transaction fees. There are no late fees. And that is unheard of. And so that's what gets this a five out of five. Last but not least in this category, we're going to talk about the security of the Apple card. 
If you set up the security on perfectly, it will be seamless. You can attach it to your Apple Maps. You can do Face ID to do transactions. You can do Touch ID to do transactions. And again, almost unheard of for a physical credit card. And for this reason, the security gets a five out of five. This brings the usability of the Apple Card, giving it a 17 out of 25. Next up, we're going into the style category. And number one in the style category is, you guessed it, style. And the Apple Card is unlike anything I have seen to date. There are no numbers on the front and no numbers on the back. It is a pure titanium card. And for a no annual fee card, being metal and sounding like this card does sound, gives this a five out of five with the sleek styling. The benefits of this card, there is no lounge access. There are no roadside assistance. There is nothing. This is a bare bones card. And so this gives it a one out of five for benefits. Next, we're gonna talk about the rewards. You do have generous rewards for Apple products being at 3%, but there are cards such as the Amazon Prime Rewards card that give 5% back on Amazon purchases where you can also buy Apple products. And that's what gives the rewards category a two out of five. Last but not least in this category, we're gonna talk about the actual app. The app is very sleek, very easy to use, very user friendly. Again, I'm gonna ding the Apple card here because you need an Apple product to have access to the app. And that's why I'm gonna give this a three out of five with an asterisk because if they do make the Apple Card app available to all devices, this will get a five out of five. But as it stands now, this is a three out of five, bringing the style category to a total of 11 out of 25. Altogether, this is going to be a 28 out of 50. Okay, you guys, finishing up the wrap up for the Apple Card review, all in all, this card is great for beginners in the credit card game and anybody just looking to get further educated in rewards and cash back and things like that. I'm about to go get some sushi. But personally, this card will be sock drawered for me. I can't get any value out of it that I can't get elsewhere. And I just have other cards that fill other needs. But it could be great for some of you. So leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe. Um, Make a video if you want me to go into any other detail about the Apple card. I can make a follow-up video after if I've lived with it. I will put some spend on it just so I can kind of get a feel for it and some of the features. But until next time, guys, thank you so much.